Hey, hey. It's Thursday night again. I am going to grab my link off my personal page and cut and paste it to the Truth Vinyl Virtual Open Mic Facebook page. It's the safe place to play every Thursday night from 6 to 9. I want to dedicate my set tonight to Taylor D., the late, great Taylor D. We lost her Sunday night to a tragic car accident. There are t-shirts available for sale. There is a GoFundMe. I've got it all posted on my personal account and on this Truth Vinyl Virtual Open Mic Facebook page. So tonight I'm going to do four originals and um, a Willie Nelson song. Uh, we have the lineup as follows. At 6.30, Zoe Party Drews will join us. Uh, at 6.45, Isaiah with Illusion. That's I-77-U-5, I-O-N. Uh, we have Chester Gamble coming on at 7. And at 7.30, he's playing from 7 to 7.30. And Clay plays, Clay Clark plays from 7.30 to 8. Tommy Hoyler plays from 8 to 8.30. We have closing our show tonight from 8.30 to 9, our Miss Allison Johnson. So this first one I'm going to do is called Unmasking Roulette. And there's a lot of going on about masking right now. <laughs> so what the song is about is sometimes you're prettier with your mask on. <laughs> All right, so this guitar, I've had it for a while, but I just get scared to play it because, you know, you can squeeze it and stretch the strings and make it sound out of tune, but sometimes it just helps if you just tune between songs. Electric guitar shows all of your mistakes, so I don't like to play electric. In fact, this is really like my second practice session yesterday to get ready for today. So, it won't be perfect, but I gotta break the ice. Here we go. This song, Unmasking Roulette. Took off my mask to drink the COVID away. I sip it on my stay. I took off my mask and his gaze didn't last. Maybe I'm just prettier the other way. I took off my mask and I followed him out of the door. Again at the next bar. He took off his mask to drink the COVID away. Sweat dripping from my ever report. I took off my mask because I just had to ask. Does unmasking relate? Make you want to play some better? Does unmasking relate? Make you fake shake to make you regret? Like to rest? you mask up in a bar you might not look as pretty and you might catch the COVID and really be out of breath <laughs> this next song on the electric guitar I wrote uh, it's called Bamarea and uh, that's actually a swimming hole in West Texas and it's a real swimming hole it's a saltwater swimming hole man-made <laughs> and uh, I was so impressed with it I wrote a song Two 
Let it go right out to the wild side. Make your way to the wild, wild west. Camp beneath the desert sky and count the stars in the wild, wild west. Take a swim, go snorkel in Balmorea in the wild, wild west. Go take a hike on mountain bike. Bring your gear on mine with fear. Again to the street child story. Ooh, took a ride out to the wild side, make your way to the wild wild west. Witness birds with water, lazy days in the wild wild west. Coyotes yell the hallelujahs from hell. Balmorea in the wild wild west, we'll do a hike. you just joining us it's a saltwater swimming hole in the middle of the desert in west texas and you got to go through sweetwater texas and you see those windmills with turbines just lazy and uh, we actually saw uh, wild cats uh, actually snorkeled and saw the catfish big as me <laughs> they actually had diving lessons out there in the desert um they uh Closed it down just recently. They had just reopened it after some renovations after fracking. So Balmorea is a real place in West Texas. Uh, so much so that I had to write a song about it. It was so impressive. It's salt water. But you, I had to wear a dive suit um, and a snorkel. Because uh, <laughs> now the goggles helped your eyes from the salt water, of course. The snorkel, I had to keep coming up. I wasn't going to come up because it's so nice out there in that 50 degree temperature in a wetsuit out in the middle of the desert snorkeling, but it just gets so dry in your snorkel, you've got to come up and drink water. So that was what Bamarea was about. If it ever opens up again, you've got to please go out there and camp. It's a really very, very ex unex you know cheap way to get a free vacation, you know, because I think at the time it was like $10 to be on site to camp overnight, you know, but, you know, just pick a campground and, and there's an observatory out in West Texas as well. Um, you can uh, look at the stars out there. So that's so I, I incorporated that. Um, Take a ride out to the wild side, make your way to the wild, wild west. Camp beneath the desert sky and count the stars in the wild, wild west. And we heard coyotes yell the javelinas from hell. We heard that. We woke up the next morning, I can hear all these devil sounds. And, you know, it was javelinas scooting around our tent. I thought, you know, hell come in there and was invading us <laughs> so that was Balmorea the first one I did was unmasking roulette and so you have to kind of back up and I'm done to hear that one about um, when you take your mask off in a bar sometimes you might be prettier with the mask on so it's a little com comedic comedy song <laughs> this next song I'm gonna do um, killing a little time because I'm gonna go all the way to 630 and I've only got three more songs to do uh, on this electric guitar so um, this next one I wrote um, it's like a modern day version of Adam and Eve. Um, um, one foot into the fire. I'm trying to think how I wrote this, how I came to write this song. I know that it was a really emotional event for me, but um, 
I'm trying to explain the, the meaning of the song. Um, it all goes back to Adam and Eve and how we're paying the price for them uh, with you know, their choices. Uh, we now have tsunamis and, and pandemics. and So anyway, it goes like this. How does it feel when you know it's not done and you know that you can't deny don't know who to blame, just know that you're never gonna lie. You got on to the fire, you burn, you burn. One step in the desire, you burn, you burn. One foot into the fire. It's an original called One Foot Into the Fire. And it's about Adam and Eve making their choices and uh, even modern day temptation. Uh, last week I did a song about Adam and Eve and their temptation. Uh, it was a different type of song that I had written, but it was about the apples of enlightenment. You know, they had to know good and evil. And once they had to know good and evil and saw both sides, it was the fall of man, if you ever follow the biblical Adam and Eve story, but the uh, Apple computer could also be uh, apples of enlightenment, and you see all the horrible stuff as well on the internet. So that was a pretty bizarre song last week. If you want to go back to last week's open mic, you go to Truth Minor Virtual Open Mic Facebook page. At 6.30, we're going to bring on Zoe Party Drews, and then we have Isaiah from Illusion at 6.45, Chester Gamble from 7 to 7.30, Clay Clark from 7.30 to 8, Tommy Hoyler from 8 to 8.30, and closing us out tonight will be Allison Johnson. This next song I'm going to do is uh, called uh, Don't Make No More Memories. Now, I'm kind of debuting a live performance tonight on my electric guitar. I got this at a pawn shop in the parking lot. <laughs> A uh, guy followed me out, and um, I bought a Les Paul and the Schecter from him. <laughs> um, this Schecter still had the Guitar Center tag um, on it, so I, I don't know what this guy was up to, but anyway, I was 
saying earlier, I've been scared to play an electric guitar because, you know, you can really press those strings and make it sound out of tune, but it's also important to have it tuned right. So not only when I tune it, I try to tune a little under because once I squeeze the note, um, it kind of goes sharp. So I have to kind of, sh- I want to, I want to tune it flat. So right now I don't like how it sounds. So I'm going to go back and refresh my tuning because I've done three songs on this first tuning and these are not new strings either so that always helps um i feel like i'm going in the wrong direction so it's a little trick that i've learned to get it to sound halfway right when you uh tune it to tune a little lower because you want to look at it after you grab the string and if it's still sounding sharp come you know come back down under that see i'm a little sharp on this one so i'm going to come down and then that one's fine this one that one's good okay so it's got a nice warm tone I have a hair in my mouth Mm. 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 there it goes (laughs) okay (laughs) this next one I wrote is called Don't Make No More Memories and it's about a girl who really was disenchanted with her boyfriend she thought you know they were going to be together forever but then he cheated on her and so now she I think he wants her back, but she don't want to take a chance in making any more bad memories. So <laughs> she can't take the good with the bad. <laughs> That's pretty much what this song is about. Let me try this again. You'd never leave me You said you'd never go But then you went astray How could you do me this way? And then you wonder why I hang my head and cry I thought the world of you now Will leave me hanging Don't make no memories I can't take the good with the bad and don't think I won't have the good or question day for you. All I want is to understand. You said you'd never leave me. 
You said you'd never go But then you went astray And watched me sadly walk away Now it's called Don't Make No More Memories So every Thursday night from 6 to 9 We have a safe way to get your music out there Thank you for the thumbs up, Jeffrey Manning. Sean Baglia, thanks again. And Rosalie, I sure appreciate you guys coming in all the time. And Jet, thank you for watching. Uh, I know there's a lot on the news. Uh, anytime you have two devices that you can stream, like I have my laptop because I transfer the links from one page to the other page because I'm live on a different device. Facebook only lets you go live on one page so I'm trying to get it shared to two places because I promise if you go to Truth Vinyl Virtual Open Mic Facebook page every Thursday night from 6 to 9, live music. And the goal is to have as many musicians streaming at one time between that time frame. We, we have a sign-up sheet, but uh, tonight it was full. Uh, we, we took some half-hour slots, so there's other opportunities for people to simultaneous stream maybe on the back end of the other half-hour slot of people. So it's, uh, never worry if you see that the, the, the uh, sign-up is full, because there's always a way. And um, we can always expand the time as well. But there's some nights I have to jump in and fill in because we didn't have enough people signing up. So I'll say round one, round two, round three. Last week, I did three rounds. Turns out, I cut my lip so I'll keep licking it. Um, I feel more relaxed in my later sets. But what I'm getting around to telling you, since I have one more song to do um, before 6.30, is that we do have opportunities to host. So if you want to host, uh, you get to fill in those empty spots when there's not enough people on your sign-up list. You also get to help fill the list with your friends and musicians, and you also get to promote so new listeners can come in and watch us and know that's the safe way to be. Uh, on Thursday nights from 69. So if you have two devices, what I'm also trying to circle back around to you to tell you, if you're not going to be a host, you can still use two devices to watch us because there's riveting news. There's there's all kinds of stuff that you want to catch up on your social media, especially if you were at work. Um, have our music playing on one device. Be scrolling through and catching up on your emails and everything on your second device so you don't miss our messages. We have, when we write songs or when we play other people's songs, there's stories behind these songs. And, and during the pandemic, we want to make sure that we try to have a, a even kill in our life of happy stuff because there's a lot of bad stuff going on right now, but it was very hopeful things as well. So my last song I'm going to do uh, is a Willie Nelson tune. And uh, I found out that they uh, weren't happy that they didn't change the words right away on Long Haired Country Boy. I get drunk in the morning, stoned in the afternoon. Um, it's it, you know set out to be a tongue in cheek song, um, but people thought you know this was glorifying abuse, drug abuse, and things that aren't healthy for your body. And uh, eventually, he changed the words. I get up in the morning and down in the afternoon, and then eventually he stopped doing it at concerts because. You know, a lot of people ask for that song. That's That was one of the top songs of the 70s. I think it was written in 74. But Long Haired Country Boy, uh, I usually do it in D. But for some reason, I wasn't happy singing it. <laughs> I just changed the key a couple hours ago. So excuse me if I don't get it right, because number one, I'm playing an electric guitar, and I'm not comfortable with that um, electric guitar just yet, because uh, I'm just digging it out of the closet. Living. 
You just leave this long head country girl alone. Preaching and talking on the TV, and he's putting out rock and roll. Says he wants me to send a donation, cause he's worried about my soul. Said Jesus, I walked on the water, and I know that's true. Sometimes I think that old preacher, that I'm to do a little walking too. And I ain't asking nobody to know. You just leave this long head country girl alone. Poor girl wants to marry and rich girl wants to play. Rich man goes to college and a poor man goes to work. Drunker wants another drinker. The politician wants a vote. I don't know much about nothing, but I will take another toke. And I ain't asking nobody to know. Uh-uh. I can't get it on my own. Your doors will leave this long. I'm back. I don't know how to block calls. <laughs> okay, so that was Long Haired Country Boy, and I still have four minutes to go to read off this uh, lineup one more time, and I didn't get to finish it. <laughs> Yours was a leader's long head country girl alone. Now, when I was talking about my electric guitar earlier, I was mentioning about how I like to tune it a certain way because you can squeeze the strings and you can really uh, push on them and make them go sharp or, or flat. Uh, on this song... It's real easy to make it, you know, you're supposed to go, bon, wah, 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 to, you know, bend that note a little bit. You can over bend it like this. No. Nope. So there's a, it's fun to play on your guitar, but it shows a lot of your mistakes. You got to be able to get, adjust it to a skinnier neck. And I like my classical fat neck guitar. So um, I've been playing ever since I was in third grade, but I've never really had formal lessons. I've just taught myself everything. Um, I'm just recently learning my scales and uh, I'm just messing around a little bit with lead. I'm just taking it easy. I mean, I really could have spent a lot of time in this pandemic really learning the board and, and playing lead and throwing all myself into my music. But I really have a, a huge activism side to myself as well. Uh, first it was fracking and now it's masking and getting your vaccine. Because I want to get out of this pandemic because I really love to busk with Clay and Clay Clark and Chuck Moore. And uh, I miss being out there on the streets just entertaining. Uh, but I'm scared to death right now and I'm scared of the variants. And I want to get my booster for the South African variant as soon as Moderna has it. Um, I hope it doesn't come to that. I hope our vaccines can work. I hope there's not going to be a resurgence like what happened in Brazil. Everybody had natural herd immunity, but then a new variant came and they all got sick again. And that's really, you know, that's that's really not good because we're really trying to move mountains to get everybody vaccinated and then have to go another round of a booster shot. You know, we don't want to go there. So get vaccinated as soon as you can. Thanks for watching. And up next. We have Zoe Party Drews, and then at 6.45, Isaiah, 
He's with Illusion, 7 to 7.30, Chester Gamble, 7.30 to 8, Clay Clark, 8 to 8.30, Tommy Hoyler. And closing us out, Allison Johnson. Thanks for watching.